Hey guys, what's up? All right, well, uh, yesterday I went to La Zona Norte. Was not planned at all because I don't have any money right now and I'm trying to save for my birthday. At least I have to go with a paradita and drink uh, some beers right there. It will be a solo celebration, yes. Me, myself, and the other me. <laughs> All right, so I went uh, because I have this uh, relative all right that um has another <laughs> relative all right and uh he came for the first time to tijuana all right so he wanted to see he wanted to check out the zona norte so we did uh, take him to the zona norte and uh the first place where we went was to the tropical he was very uh, happy right there in that place okay uh you could uh I mean, it was obvious he was um, right there for the first time. It's a guy in his uh, early 30s, okay, so uh, probably uh, where he lives, there's no uh, red light uh, district right there, who knows, All right? Uh, probably, uh, I don't think so, right? He's from uh, Guerrero, uh, from the state of Guerrero, and uh, probably uh, there's no places like that. All right, so yeah, we, we stayed like uh, three hours in the uh, tropical. We drank a little beer and then we went to uh, Hong Kong. Dude, <laughs> this guy was just in chalk. He stayed in chalk for a few minutes, five minutes, I could say. He uh, couldn't believe what was in front of, of his eyes right there, you know all those uh, extremely gorgeous girls right there he w he was totally amazed okay so we explained the dynamic um, the guy who invited us he gave him uh, like ten dollars and he gave everyone like ten dollars okay so uh, we did explain the dynamic and he had a great time right there so uh, it doesn't matter if you're just 18, 19, or you're uh, 30, 40, 50, 60. Going to the Hong Kong, it's a life change experience. All right? Uh, trust me. Because I'm a witness of that. I had witnessed that situation right there. Right? It's incredible how the face of a guy that steps into Hong Kong changes right um it's some kind of chalk <laughs> i don't know how to describe it then unfortunately we stepped out because uh, for our mexican budget the beers are way too expensive right there okay well so we went we stepped out and we were surprised because uh we didn't actually realize that it was after 3 a.m already okay so places were closed so someone said that they well let's see what we can do here okay and there, there was a guy um in this uh cheap ass hotel all right asking people to come in to go upstairs so we went upstairs and right there um i only saw not very attractive woman all right there was only one girl that was attractive the other uh attractive girls yes they were attractive but they were too old trust me they were in their 50s all right very attractive very very attractive but um i'm, I'm in my uh, 30s still so um i don't really um have anything to do with girls or women in this case in their 50s so the guy who came from our state here to tijuana uh, I could, well, he, he uh, since has no experience, he committed the error to go to the room with the one of the old women right there. So he went to the room, uh, supposedly uh, she gave him a very good uh, experience. <laughs> I was watching the clock, they took like uh, around one hour. He paid uh, 50 US dollars okay so i told him that uh first i told him 
do not go to the room with uh, no one here they are not good enough for you my boy <laughs> they're not good enough all right go outside all right go to the street and get a girl but you know uh, he didn't uh, pay any attention right there so uh, he had a good time all right supposedly we will go again today okay but still I will not pay nothing all right everything will be for free for me we're just talking about the drinks and probably uh, they will give me a few dollars to spend all right and well that's something that I'm very thankful with with the life because uh, I guess uh, this is the first time that I go without any money on my pocket I just paid uh, my my ride okay my transportation from my house to uh, La Zona Norte and again all right um, and tropical it's a place where you find a very very cute woman right there um, Las Chavelas for some reason Las Chavelas it was empty totally empty this is something that I believe they had changed the atmosphere right there because uh, now Las Chavelas it's like a hall to the Hong Kong you know so uh, Las Chavelas it's dying <laughs> unfortunately okay uh was very empty right there so i hope that they do something about it soon because i used to like chavelas a lot so guys again if you will go to the zona norte for your first time do not go to the room with the first woman that will ask you will uh, make the proposal all right do not go to the room with the first one walk around see what's there check the prices ask how much will be if uh, you don't have enough money trust me uh, sometimes you do find a better paradita than a club girl all right um, I feel bad for this guy <laughs> he went to uh, a very old uh, woman to, to the room and there was a very uh, attractive young girl right there I don't know what happened she she uh, was with me you know she was with me and personally uh, they did invite a beer for her and they start complaining about that so I didn't feel good with that and I told her you know what Mija I don't have any money on me so she understood actually she gave me a kiss and said well I understand next time will be don't worry uh, well I was very surprised <laughs> she was like a girl of uh, 20 years old all right and I'm uh, I'm not a good-looking guy well that's what I, most girls say I, I don't really believe that <laughs> and there were girls right there but they were they were like six now you know uh, they had something right they, they had uh, big boobs or a uh, pretty face big butt uh they had uh, only one thing of um the required things that we uh, look for so yeah if you just were focusing on just one uh part of their bodies yeah, you could say that they were uh, cute girls and i was sad right there because uh this guy who invited me he told me that uh he was inviting me a girl from hk all right so uh he did he didn't actually um uh, mention nothing about about that after we were there he told me yeah we'll go ahead and uh pay a girl for you and the sad thing is that this is not the first time that he's always telling me this is the first time that we go together to that place because he doesn't live in town he has uh, he comes from another uh, state as well all right and supposedly he uh, brought a lot of money with him he actually showed me the uh, bank balance on the cell phone uh, I believe he will have to make a payment with that money because it was kind of good money 
okay and he didn't really invite me the girl actually uh, I was uh, already selecting the girl but um, no I didn't see and it's not like I will just ask all right, hey, or tell hey guy you said you will invite me a girl so come on man just uh, said what you uh, make uh, do what you what you said right what you offered okay so uh, hopefully that will happen today so that's what I can tell you guys the reason that I'm making this video uh, for two things if you will if you have a friend that has no money and you will invite him be clear what's included in that invitation all right be totally clear about that uh, here in Mexico is very common that they uh, your friends they do invite you to drink all right either um, at the house at the clubs all right that's a very popular or a very common thing to happen they will invite you okay uh, the, if you will go to La Zona yes as well uh, that happens they will invite you all right but yes be clear right because Believe it or not, you, it, that um, those details, that little confusion right there, may become a big problem right there. Okay, um, and the other reason that I'm making this video is because you don't have to go to the room with the first uh, woman, with the first female you see. Okay, don't commit that error, please, guys. Okay, do not do that. Never. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I just slept like three hours. Okay, we'll go to sleep right now. And, uh, well, th these guys are kind of liars. I don't believe uh, they will call me to go. Actually, uh, they said that they will not go back to the Zona Norte today. They prefer to do something else. All right, so um, based on that, I totally believe that I will not go to uh, La Zona actually I believe that they don't even will call me back all right who knows maybe um I have the, the wrong judgment right there all right guys